It's a fascinating and wide-ranging topic, so today we'll focus on the Mediterranean diet and depression. Hi, my name is Coral Deborera Edelson, and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I'm here today to speak with you about mental health nutrition. With that, let's get started. You are probably aware that what you eat affects how you feel, but what is the science behind that? Today we're going to discuss depression and how its symptoms can be affected by the Mediterranean diet. We'll talk about what the Mediterranean diet is and how it likely affects depression. What is depression? According to the National Institute of Mental Health, depression, or major depressive disorder or clinical depression, is a common but serious mood disorder. It causes severe symptoms that affect how you feel, think, and handle daily activities, such as sleeping, eating, or working. Depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 19.1% of U.S. adults experienced mental illness in 2018. This represents one in five adults, and 7.2% or 17.7 million people experience a major depressive episode annually. Fortunately, it seems our societal perspectives on mental illness are shifting. There is more attention on the stigma around mental illness and how harmful it is. People are becoming more comfortable discussing mental illness. On social media, more people are discussing mental illness, as can be seen by these hashtags. So you can see how many posts there are per hashtag. Increasingly, our patients and clients are becoming interested in nutrition interventions for depression. The Center for Responsible Nutrition, a supplement trade organization, provides some information. 77% of Americans take supplements, an all-time high according to the Council for Responsible Nutrition, some of which are for brain health. And three of the 10 most popular supplements in 2019 are commonly associated with depression and anxiety. So we should keep in mind that as more consumers look to nutrition for assistance with mental illness, they will be looking to registered dietitian nutritionists for information on this topic. Mental illness is a multifaceted issue. Socioeconomic status, environment, access to healthy food, access to health care, stress, genetics, and many other factors play a role in one's mental health. Nutrition is one component. So how can nutrition help with depression? You guessed it, the Mediterranean diet. There is no one definition for the Mediterranean diet. However, it is generally agreed upon that it contains these foods. Healthy fats, complex carbohydrates, fruits and vegetables, fish, eggs, legumes, you get the picture. The Mediterranean diet does not necessarily have to follow a Mediterranean flavor profile, something to keep in mind. Our patients and clients can follow this diet pattern with their own cultural flavor preferences. Okay, hopefully you can see this. This is the dietary intervention used in a large study on the Mediterranean diet in Australia from 2018. It's an interesting study on applying Mediterranean diet across cultures. I include this image because they break down the frequency of foods eaten on a Mediterranean diet really nicely. So you can see that here. Let's look at the evidence connecting the Mediterranean diet with depression. Some meta-analyses studies show that the Mediterranean diet is associated with lower risk of depression, while others did not find an association. These studies examine dozens of epidemiological studies observing data on the Mediterranean diet and depression incidence. There are few randomized control trials testing the Mediterranean diet as an intervention in treating depression. However, both trials conducted found that the Mediterranean diet significantly improved subjects' depression symptoms. One of these is the well-known SMILE trial. Published in 2017, researchers showed that the Mediterranean diet decreased symptoms of depression. The study had 67 total participants. The intervention group ate a Mediterranean diet for 12 weeks, during which they had nutrition counseling from a registered dietitian nutritionist. A baseline for depression symptoms was created before the intervention, and afterwards, participant, participants' depression symptoms improved in comparison to the control group. The other study, published this year, showed similar results with college students over a period of three weeks. This group received one short informational lecture on the Mediterranean diet from a dietitian. 
As compared to the control group, their depression symptoms improved over the three-week period. Based on this evidence that we have, we can conclude that the Mediterranean diet does help with symptoms of depression. But there is another question to answer. How? What is it about the Mediterranean diet that helps depression? There is no firm explanation for what it is about the Mediterranean diet that achieves this effect. However, several possibilities are being studied. The possibilities include decreased inflammation, more micronutrients, and a healthy gut microbiome. These are the possible mechanisms we will look at today. Let's look at inflammation first. What is inflammation? It's a natural process for the body. For example, acute inflammation occurs when we have a cut and the surrounding tissue becomes red and swollen as our immune system kicks in to protect the body from bacteria. Chronic inflammation is constant circulation of immune factors that, with nothing to fight, turn on the body's own tissues. Chronic inflammation is associated with many current chronic diseases today. So, perhaps one factor making the Mediterranean diet so effective at lessening depression symptoms is that it is an anti-inflammatory diet. It is considered so due to the many foods in the diet that are anti-inflammatory, such as fruits and vegetables filled with antioxidants, and the inclusions of foods filled with healthy fats and fiber. In addition, the Mediterranean diet doesn't include many of the foods in a standard Western diet, which includes foods with excess saturated fat, refined carbohydrate-rich foods, and excess sugar and alcohol all of which are considered inflammatory foods. Another mechanism by which the Mediterranean diet may reduce depression symptoms is through micronutrients. The Mediterranean diet is a varied and diverse diet, including many foods rich in various micronutrients. While of course a diet rich in micronutrients is considered healthful, some of these micronutrients are specifically associated with depression. For example, omega-3, folate, and magnesium are implicated in depression onset. The fatty acid omega-3, found in fatty fish, legumes, and nuts, has been studied in depth. Not only deficiency, but specifically its ratio with omega-6 is implicated in depression onset. Those who have a certain ratio of omega-3 to omega-6, favoring omega-3, are less likely to have depression. Folate is found in spinach, peas, and lentils. Several studies have found that those who are deficient in this micronutrient are more likely to have depression. In addition, magnesium, found in cashews, almonds, and spinach, has also been found to be reduced in the diets of those with depression. Deficiencies in vitamin C, all B vitamins, choline, selenium, and zinc are also associated with depression. The gut microbiome may be another way in which the Mediterranean diet positively affects depression. The gut microbiome is defined as all of the microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, fungi, and their collective genetic material present in the gastrointestinal tract. The gut microbiome affects nutrient and mineral absorption, synthesis of enzymes, vitamins and amino acids, and production of short-chain fatty acids. It communicates with the brain via the vagus nerve and is healthy when balanced with appropriate amounts of good and bad bacteria. What is the relationship between the gut microbiome, Mediterranean diet, and depression? A healthy gut microbiome is supported by a healthful diet like the Mediterranean diet. And there are several ways in which the gut microbiome influences mental health. First, microbiota produce short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs, that are implicated in health, including mental health. SCFAs are produced when certain microbiota are fed certain types of fiber. This might be why diets high in fiber are associated with better mood. In addition, SCFAs are considered to be anti-inflammatory. 2. Gut microbiota modulate immune response. Bad bacteria encourage increased cytokines, or inflammatory factors in the bloodstream, increasing chronic inflammation in the body, which as we saw is associated with depression. Three, when the gut microbiome is not healthy, the gut lining becomes increasingly permeable and inflammatory metabolites leaking into the bloodstream worsen chronic inflammation. Four, altered serotonin metabolism occurs when bad bacteria are favored in the gut, ultimately affecting mood. 
Finally, a more simple way to look at this relationship may be through examining gut microbiome composition, or which bacteria are present in the microbiome. Gut microbiome composition may have an effect on depression onset. While a recent meta-analysis found no relationship between composition of the human microbiome and depression, researchers of the study admitted that there were constraints in analyzing the data. Notably, there have been several studies in recent years connecting composition of human gut microbiota to depression. To conclude, there is a complicated relationship between the gut microbiome and mood. The Mediterranean diet appears to play a role in encouraging gut microbiome health, leading to decreased depression symptoms. Ultimately, the Mediterranean diet is a common recommendation for many common health concerns, including heart disease. Encourage your clients and patients to slowly incorporate parts of the Mediterranean diet, such as increasing olive oil and fatty fish intake. Another easy place to start for many is eating a small handful of nuts a few times a week. While these interventions are small, we have seen they can lead to big change. I hope this presentation has clarified the potential for the Mediterranean diet to help your patients and clients with depression. Through increasing micronutrient intake, decreasing chronic inflammation, and healing the gut with the Mediterranean diet, they will see improved health all around, including their mood. Thank you for your time. Citations and photo credits follow.